Here we are in a beautiful Chamber of Commerce type kind of day in uh, late afternoon in Pinole, California, looking at an absolutely beautiful 1963 Impala two-door hardtop. Very nicely done car. We're going to walk around and tell you what we know, but one of the first things we're going to do is walk up here to this uh, show board that goes with the car. Uh, this is information that's been passed along on this car over the years. Um, this is what we have on it. It was originally ordered at serial number 004, which is really neat. Um, it was originally ordered, according to this, by a, a GM executive as a completely loaded Impala for a new car auto show circuit in 1963. It was the fourth car off the assembly line in 1963, the fourth Impala. Um, list of the factory options, it's absolutely loaded. It's had a very high-end uh, professional style restoration. If you had to have it done today, and I'm sure that it cost that when it was done, I would say this is a six-figure style restoration. When you look at all the detail and the things that I've studied on this car, it's very nicely done, but it's equipped with a 327, 300 horsepower engine, M24 speed air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, factory tilt, factory power windows, in-dash tack, everything that you're reading there. I'm not going to read them all and we'll have the details in a photo of this at Spud's Garage. Um, we'll walk around and show you. It's a factory ermine white car. The body and the fit, every corner of this car, even under the dash, we're going to spend some time with you, show you the wiring. Um, everything from the fasteners to the chrome, the front bumpers, the front and rear bumpers are replated factory bumpers. The trim and the bright work is literally spotless. The car has 345 miles on it since it was done. Um, so it's a really neat, well-optioned car, factory air-conditioned car, I AC blows ice cold. It's got the bias ply tires on it. They actually make some uh, radials that look bias ply like, but these are not those that you could put on this car if you wanted to retain that uh, same look and have some radial rubber on it. I mean, 814s all the way around, and even the spare is the correct spare for it, so they're BF Goodrich Silvertown bias plies. Like we talked about, the fit, a pro did this car. Look at the panels here. You can run a nickel down that thing, or uh, not a nickel, but a, a little ball bearing and a roll all the way down. The gaps on the doors are very nice. This car is just spotless inside and out. And uh, you'll hear me say that throughout the video. I say it probably in every segment because it really truly is. Anybody that knows me know knows that I know my cars. And uh, this car somebody uh, spent a lot of time and money on. So you buy this car like this at a fraction of the price to, to restore it. Um, beautiful car. The uh, block VIN is correct for the car. That's about as far as we went on the numbers. You have all that. They say it was a rock solid car, rust free southern car. And when you see the floor pans on the bottom side, you'll see that's probably more than likely correct. We'll spend some time up on the lift, undercarriage wise, like we always do. The grill and the bright work's just special on it. Let's pull this away so you can take a look. Really nice road trip, this road trip. Picked up a couple Impalas to do. Um, this is a really special car I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, you like the Ermine White Red. It's just got that executive feel to it. It was ordered for an executive, but car number four off the assembly line is pretty neat in St. Louis. One thing for sure, it's car number four. And it's nicely done. The fit, the finish of the car, we'll go over the gaps here on this end here, same thing. Dog dish hubcaps would have been correct. Factory upholstery, factory M24 speed. I know we already said that. But when you look at this door jam to door jam here, I don't think I could spend enough time on it. That's where I really start looking critically at a car. Um, beautiful. Factory dash is finished in a matte finish. I believe that's the way it's supposed to be. It's a factory AC car, so it has the AC to switch, uh, vents in the dash. Interior spotless again 345 miles on the odometer In the back seat here
All the dome lights are working there. Headliner spotless. We'll get around on the driver's side and we'll actually fire it up for you here. Doors shut nice. Said long road trip. A lot of sweet cars this road trip, but this is a definitely uh, towards the end of my road trip. It's a beautiful car. As you know, we won't do a car unless we've actually touched it ourselves. Um, this gentleman always has a lift for us, so we'll come do the on the lift. Just look at the undercarriage in the trunk when you get there. Right work. The fit on the trunk is just gorgeous. Sa same thing with the trunk here. I mean, the bumpers in the back. Um, that's our factory bumpers. They've been replated. They're not uh, Chinese replacements, so to speak. These license plates on the car are for show purposes only. This gentleman likes to keep these license plates. We have an extra set of plates in the trunk that will be included with the car, including the ones that it's registered to. Ermine white, red interior. We'll have pictures of the data tag and that uh, show board at, uh, uh, at spudsgarage.com. And again, like we said, we spent some time underneath the dash. Um, look at the glass on this car. It's just every detail. Don't think I could say enough about the uh, overall fit and finish of this car. Cars like this, take it to a show, people go, oh my goodness. It is way better than it would have been from the factory, but that's a good thing. All the door panels are perfect. The paint finish is awesome. Again, back seat here. Hard doing this one-handed sometimes. Dome light on that side. Back side of the seats here. Kind of get a good feel. We actually shot the photo shot the uh, interior. Um, because lighting is funny with a mirrored camera um, in the shade so you get a really good sense for it and you don't have all the light breaking it up. Again, factory AC dash, factory tilt, factory AC car. The VIN number's in the door jam here where it's supposed to be. Factory power windows. Lot of loaded options. Uh, again, more than likely ordered for an executive based on the information that we have. Um, but a really special car. Has a factory tachometer on it right here. Push button radio on it, well optioned. AC controls are here. Four speed shifter here. She's an okay used car. Anyway, let me get out. We'll invite you in. Definitely you want to hang on to the end of the video. We'll take you up on the lift, in the engine compartment, in the trunk. Alright, let's get underneath the hood. Man, oh man. This car is just special from top to bottom. I know I'm probably repeating myself in some categories, but it's always fun to take a really good look at a car like this. And the craftsmanship that went into the restoration on this car probably heard me say uh, well over probably a $100,000 style restoration on this car top to bottom. Uh, professional in nature, somebody that knew what they were doing. All the factory hardware is done correctly on it from what we can tell. Has a uh, 300 horse 327 cubic inch small block with a uh, factory Carter AFB on it. The uh, factory heated manifold on it. All the wiring and the detail here underneath the hood is just sweet. This is a factory air, air conditioning plenum. We're getting to that right now. It has Frigidaire AC that's absolutely ice cold in it. Everything works like it's uh, supposed to. I believe this is a uh, topper that goes on a standard battery for a, a look. Period look. Factory style hose clamps throughout. Again, car number four. 63 radiator here factory power brake power steering car so about every option you could think of on this car we're under the hood portion right now 
uh, power steering pumps right there. You can see where they've media blasted things and then recad plated or cleaned it up and uh, all the hardware bolts here. Windshield washer bottles correct and where it's supposed to be. It's finished in its correct ermine white. Over here the suffix, I don't know if I can get to it or not, but uh, you can see down here, but the, the last four of the digits of the VIN are 0004. Um, we've checked that. Data tag is over here. We'll have still pictures for that at Spud's Garage. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video. Make sure you hang on to the undercarriage portion of it. And uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. I know I ended the engine compartment video, but I didn't cover the bottom side of the hood as an afterthought. I wanted to share the bottom side of the hood also. Very nice. Okay, he's gonna fire it up and turn it around so I can video the other side of the car with the light on the driver's side. Sweet. Still a little cold on us. There you go, hang on to the end of the video. This is an exceptional car. People that know me know what I'm talking about. This car is a high level, high end restoration. Um, every little detail was thought of. We'll get down here and pick up some light. Factory size spare BF Goodrich Silvertown rate, uh, bias ply that matches the exterior of the car. So I think they're 814s. All the wiring, the level of detail here, you'll see all the connectors have been redone. Complete harness. Same thing back here in the tail light section here. I know the light's a little odd there. Bottom side of the deck lid. They've done all this uh, tar paper kind of thing over again. Limited slip differential in the rear end. CAD plated bolts on the deck lid here. Like I always say, we're thinking you get the idea. All right, just a short little clip here to share with you. These license plates, the ones on the car that you see in the photos are just for show purposes. They belong to another, uh, they're a pair of plates you would like to keep. These plates are included with the car if you're a California client. If you'd like and you're a California buyer, these California plates can be included with the car for no charge. They're uh, triple a plates so which means they're early that's kind of cool anyway short little clip there thanks all right we wanted to do a little video segment here of underneath the dash uh, so you get a feel a real feel i actually flipped on the uh, led light on this there's air conditioning pull um, but you look up underneath the dash on this the wiring is all factory correct detail they spent time underneath Factory AC, all the courtesy lights are working here. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage. Uh, I promise you we'd do that on the walk around. Very nice car. Top to bottom, professionally restored. Absolutely no excuses when you spend time underneath here. And I've spent some time underneath here studying it and uh, very nicely done body off restoration on a uh, according to the history that we have uh, the car spent over 50 years in the Texas area so we know that uh, it's a solid dry climate car get that right there these uh, bumpers and stuff as you're down at the bottom you can tell these are not cheap reproductions they're actually replated factory uh, steel. You can see all the pinch weld marks in the back here. Concord correct, undercarriage. 
has a uh, 355 limited slip or posi rear end in it. All factory done underneath, factory style exhaust, bends, factory bias ply tires, BF Goodrich 814s. So just like it would have left from the factory, we said this is a very high option car. Uh, factory control arms here. It's all finished in a satin black. Not overdone, nicely done, I would say. This is one where you could literally eat off the floor pans. Uh, the drains up in here, I know you can't see it light wise, it's hard to get the light. The factory drains, you can see the spot welds here, are nice and square on the back here. You can't duplicate that kind of stuff. They put new body weld plugs in it and seals up here. Beautiful floor pans. You're seeing what I'm seeing. This whole chassis has definitely been uh, media blasted and refinished in a satin black like they would have done from the factory. Same thing over on this side. See the square drain hole on the inner, inner rocker here. Factory dual exhaust car, 300 horse, 327. Muncie M24 speed. Those floor pans there. A lot of detail, uh, tedious work here. All CAD plated washers and bolts. The uh, correct castle nuts here. They're lock type. Even the uh, reverse light here, the cable, the brackets are all the way up into the, it's got the bracket here on the side that holds the wire. Little wheel for the e-brake where it goes through the frame. Nylon wheel. Factory drum brakes all the way around. Media blasted the, the uh, <clears throat> spindles there. Factory black style shocks and springs. Get up front here. Factory power steering. All this has been media blasted and cleaned up and all the factory brackets are here on the power steering hose lines. Pretty car. Just as pretty on the bottom as it is on the top. Same thing here, these bumpers are all replated factory steel bumpers. Correct bias ply tires. These license plates are for display only. They don't go with the car. Do a little reverse walk here. I've been wiping my fingers on the bottom of this car. It's spotless. Anyway, we appreciate you coming to Spud's Garage. We try and cover everything that we can for you. Get more information, go to our website. Factory rear differential like we talked about. All right, there you go. One more spin around here. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com. Talk to you later. Thanks for listening.